For the past 10 years, moviegoers have been captivated by the magic of the Harry Potter franchise. Now, J.K. Rowling's final book in the series has been made into two movies. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 opens this week with Harry, Ron, and Hermione determined to stop the forces of darkness from taking over their wizarding world. Take a look. Come with me. I'll leave Hermione. You're mad. We wouldn't last two days without her. Don't tell her I said that. Besides, you've still got the trace on you. You've still got the wedding. But I don't care about a wedding. I'm sorry, no matter whose it is, I have to start finding these Horcruxes. They're our only chance to beat him, and the longer we stay here, the stronger he gets. Daniel Radcliffe is Harry Potter, of course. If you didn't know that by now, where have you been, Daniel? Good morning to good you. Good morning. Thank you. The premiere was in London last week. This movie is really the beginning of the end of the franchise. What has that been like for you, dealing with that? Um, yeah, it's kind of odd, because, you know, we finished filming... We shot the, the last two we shot in one go, and we, we actually finished filming it, um, like, five months ago. So we've sort of been through our period of mourning and, and sort of done all that. What was that last day like? Oh, lots of tears. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you might expect. Yeah, it was, you know, it's like, you know, as you say, it's ten years of our lives. But the other thing not to underestimate is the fact that we shot the last film for... 18 months. So we were tired by the end. So there was a part of us that was like, yeah, I kind of want to sleep now for a bit. Done with it, yeah. yeah but, um, but no, I mean, it has been... It's, it, was a, it was a very weird time, and then doing all the press for it at the moment is odd, because suddenly everyone's sort of saying, God, you must be so sad. And it's like, well, I, I wasn't until you mentioned it, but now I'm kind of getting upset again. Yeah, yeah you, you're probably relieved at this point, and it's a little bit of a celebration, too. Absolutely, because yeah. that's the thing. If, if, the, if, the, if we'd been going out on a sour note, then it would not have, would have been heartbreaking. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this, with this film, and I think the last one's going to be fantastic. So, you know, it, it's nice to go out with a bang. And I heard you swipe some stuff from the set. Maybe yeah. swipe is fair you asked well, no, I, but I but I would have swiped it had they not given it to me I absolutely would have stolen it um, I got the uh, I got the glasses uh, a pair from the first film which now seemed tiny because my head was much smaller then well you were only 11 uh, when I, you started I was so, only 11 yeah. and um, and and then a pair from the last one yes there look there there I am oh good oh my uh, gosh good that everyone keeps saying that did you, did you, <laughs> did you have a childhood or was it all sort yeah, of no. well you know I had a different childhood I was on film sets a lot of the time yeah. which is which is odd but I suppose but you know in terms of happiness and you know i was i think you know film sets an amazing fun exciting place to be and you're there with a lot of great people so and i have to say you you know there's a lot less uh bullying on a film set than there probably is at school, so well, I, I missed out on all the rubbish bits of being Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then every Harry Potter film is a little darker than the one that precedes it, and this is probably the darkest of all. You're searching mm -hmm. for Voldemort to stop him. Yeah. Uh, how does this film lead us into part two? What happens in this one? Well, um... Kind of basically the the thing, I think it was interesting. I was talking to a journalist about this the other day, and I think this film is almost the easiest to break down for people who don't know the um, the books very well because it's essentially there are seven Horcruxes, which are pieces of Voldemort's soul, and Harry is searching for the remaining one of those and has to destroy them, while Voldemort is searching for the Deathly Hallows, which are three items, which if the same person owns all three, makes one um, immortal and master of death, and it's the person that. Basically, it's a race between us to see who gets their goal first. And, um, yeah, and the end of the movie ends with, um, yeah, it's a big cliffhanger. I don't, I'm not going to ruin it. don't know, don't ruin it. You've immediately so. gone, right after filming stopped on that movie, you started with Women in Black. Oh, the, the, the Woman in Black. The Woman in Black, The Woman yeah, in Black, yeah, yeah. which is a thriller. Yes, uh, it's a, a... very scary movie, and yeah. that was a very um, determined... You, you were very clear on why you wanted to do that. You wanted to play an adult, obviously you are one, and a dad. yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't so much that I was seeking to play those things, but when I, when I, when I read the script and it was a chance to play, you know, a father and a widower, um, it, it just is inherently a much more adult role. So, um, you know, that's, that's, it's part of the process of gradually sort of separating myself from Harry. Not separating myself, because I'm very proud to have played Harry, but, you know, allowing people to see me as an actor rather than just a character. And, you know, it's a, it's a great director, James Watkins, uh, who's only his second film, but he's a fantastic director. And, um, and it's a great script. And it's a, and I get a fantastic costume. You do. As well, I get a great suit. My, it's fantastic. Yes. It's scary. It, it's going to be very scary. The film. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be terrifying. And you're going back to, to um, Broadway. Uh, how to succeed in business? Yeah. Really trying. Which Next, is a, yeah. a song and dance, a musical. Absolutely. I didn't know you did that stuff. Um, well, I don't think anyone did. Um, I didn't. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I've always loved singing, and I've been singing for a, a long time, and, and I really, really enjoy it. And, and dancing is not something that I've ever done before in my life, but I've been having lessons for about. 
I think about two years now, so hopefully I'll be. And, you know, my friends still don't believe I can dance, so I sort of I, I I'm hoping to surprise some people in the in the course of next year. You'll be brilliant. You always are. Well, Such a you. pleasure to have thank you, you here, Daniel. Thank you so much. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One opens this Friday. By the way, Daniel's co-star Rupert Grint will stop by later this morning.